Welcome back to Healthy Tips Tuesday. Whether you're a beginner looking to kickstart your weight loss journey or someone who wants to take it to the next level, I've got you covered. So do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a video. And now let's jump right in. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Healthy Days. My name is Melissa. If you are new here, I create videos helping people out along their weight loss journey. About five years ago, I started researching sustainable weight loss, and now I love sharing everything that works for me with you. In today's video, we're gonna go over my top seven healthy foods to stop inflammation in its tracks. Now, what is inflammation? Well, inflammation is a buildup in your body that has been happening over the years from the unhealthy choices we've been making and just due to genetics and just due to aging. But there is a way to fight against it. Incorporating these foods into your body daily are going to go to work at that inflammation and you are going to feel lighter and you are going to feel fabulous. So let's jump right into it. On my channel, you will find a variety of weight loss tips. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. I upload new videos every week. Today's video is going to be so great for anybody who feels that bloated feeling, even if they've only eaten a small amount of food. You're probably suffering from built up inflammation in your body. So here are the seven foods that fight inflammation, along with my suggestions on how much to include in your diet and their benefits for weight loss. So when I first started researching about inflammation, I loved learning that I could enjoy berries to fight against it. Enjoy blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and aim to have about one cup per day. Now that doesn't mean you need to have them all at one sitting, but go ahead and make sure you enjoy about one cup of blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, or a mixture of all of them throughout your day. They actually have anti-inflammatory properties, so it goes without saying that they're gonna go to work at that inflammation in your body for you. And I am telling you from firsthand experience, from never being a berry eater to intentionally adding them into my meal plan, I have seen vast results. And number two on the list is I started intentionally incorporating fatty fish into my diet. That can be salmon, mackerel, sardines, and try to have two servings per week, about three to four ounces per serving. So just make it a point that you are going to start adding fatty fish, which contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are known to reduce inflammation into your weekly meal plan. I'm telling you again from experience, you'll be so happy to feel and see the results of the food combating that inflammation. And number three on my list is leafy greens. And I am telling you, I so enjoy incorporating one to two salads a day into my meal plan. If I tell you that I actually look forward to the different salads that I get to incorporate into my weekly meal plan, you would think I was joking, but I'm not. All of the flavor and all of the enjoyment that I get from making up these delicious salads full of spinach, kale, and Swiss chard is absolutely incredible. It's so much more satisfying to me than going and getting a sandwich or going and getting a burger or going and getting a big bowl of pasta. I enjoy these leafy greens immensely. And the payoff is the reduced inflammation in my body. Not only are leafy greens full of fiber, so they aid in the digestion, but they also have all the vitamins and minerals that also combat that inflammation. So it's a win-win. If you want to check out some awesome salad recipes. I have an entire playlist with a weekly challenge going on where you can join in and you can make these different salads along with us each week and you are going to see incredible results and that weight is going to fall off and the inflammation in your body is going to reduce. Number four, I started enjoying nuts like walnuts, almonds, and I have a small handful, about one ounce or 28 grams if you're measuring out your foods. But I am telling you, when you start enjoying nuts into your daily meal plan, you are going to be so satisfied. If you are ever worried about being hungry while you're trying to reduce your calorie intake and lose weight, start incorporating nuts. Not only is it going to fight against that inflammation, but you are not going to be hungry. One of the components in nuts is the omega-3 fatty acids, particularly the walnuts and they make you feel so full and so satisfied so you don't have to worry about being hungry while you're on your weight loss journey 
and the inflammation reduction from the chemical reaction inside of your body is astounding. And number five, I want you to start incorporating extra virgin olive oil. This has been a game changer when it comes to my weight loss journey. Extra virgin olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fats and antioxidants, which help reduce the inflammation in your body. It also serves as the base of most of my salads, but you can make it whatever flavoring you want by adding different spices, different seasonings, but using the two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil as the base is going to reduce that inflammation in your body. You're literally gonna feel and watch it reduce. Number six on the list, we have turmeric. Use about one teaspoon, so that's about two to three grams daily, either in your cooking or add it into your salads or blend it up into your smoothies. I am telling you, if I had to pick a super spice that was going to transform the inflammation in my body, this would be it. Once you start adding turmeric into your daily meal plan, give it one to three days, you are going to feel the results. So don't skip this one. I know it looks intimidating. And this is actually one that you want to talk to your doctor about because some people can have different issues with turmeric. But if you are able to have it, make sure you start incorporating it in. Another one at the top of my list is green tea. You can have one to three cups daily. I know maybe that seems intimidating, like all I'm going to be doing is drinking green tea all day. Start with one cup. Just make the commitment to start with one cup. And I am telling you, I like to enjoy it in the morning. I sip on it throughout the day and it just goes to work inside of your body fighting that inflammation. We have all this bloated feeling. We have all this buildup. We want to know what to do. And I am telling you, this is what has worked for me. And if you make the commitment to intentionally start to chemically put these specific foods and liquids into your body, you're going to get the results that you want. So make the commitment. So as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please take just a moment to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. If you know anybody who's looking to reduce the inflammation in their body, share this video with them. Check out my other videos. Let's go at this weight loss journey together. We don't have to be hungry. We don't have to be miserable. It's just about making the healthy choices, feeling better, feeling energized, feeling lighter, and we are going to see incredible results. Check out my other playlists. I have weight loss smoothies that you can start to incorporate into your daily meal plan. I have weight loss salads that are delicious. They're absolutely delicious. If you intentionally take the time to make them, you are going to enjoy them and the weight is going to fall off your body. And each week I try to just bring you different random tips and information about how different foods have helped me and how I've started incorporating them into my daily meal plan. And I'm at the point where I don't even realize it anymore that I'm doing anything intentionally. It just becomes natural. And the benefit is the weight loss, the consistent, sustained, long-term weight loss. And if you're looking for more healthy weight loss tips, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you never miss a video. I upload up to three times a week. Whenever I think of something that is going to help you guys, I want to put out a video on it. I want you to be able to have it to be tangible, to have an entire list of things that you can start to pluck away at and start intentionally choosing to incorporate into your lifestyle. Just Go through all of my videos, look at one, and make the commitment to start following through with one or two a week. And before you know it, your entire meal plan will be changed. You're going to be lighter. You're going to start losing the weight. You're going to feel better. And I'm so excited for your weight loss journey. Be sure to comment below and let me know all about it. Remember, weight loss is a gradual process. It's important to focus on sustainable habits rather than any quick fixes. Consistency is the key. Check out some of my favorite meal prep kitchen gadgets to help keep you on track for reaching your weight loss goals. I have them all linked in the description box down below.